Okay, no, it's hard to talk about the creative process, but the, but the, just that phrase, City of Stars, you know, where did that come from? Was that in the script? Did, would... No, um, that, was, that was on the plane ride, was the City of Stars. <laughs> but, um, but what was so cool about this process is that usually my collaborator Justin and I, when we're working on something, we will think of a title uh, first, and then we'll build the song around maybe the title. And what we had here was an entire musical, uh, you know, the, mus the melody was completely laid out for us. So really, I think the way that we approached this was figuring out how to underwrite the lyric, because we weren't looking for something that was on its own. We uh -huh. had the melody providing this emotional content, mm -hmm. and then all that we had to do was find something that fit nicely on top of it, and it didn't have to be uh, too complex because we knew that it, it was going to be paired with something that was already so emotional and that already had so much feeling behind it. So our job kind of was to get out of the way of what they had already created that was, you know, working so effectively. Okay, no, also, because you, you said you, you got the call on Friday, you were on the plane on Sunday, yeah. and, and then when, when were the lyrics uh, City of Stars locked in? Was, I don't know, I mean, I don't know that they were ever officially, like, we're locking them in, <laughs> but I think, you know, you guys can maybe speak to that. Well, the version, yeah, they came to L.A., we had dinner the next morning, they came over to my apartment, we sat around the piano, and they sang this lyric that they'd written to the piano demo, and it was almost exactly what's in the movie. We changed, you guys changed a few words later because the song moved, it was supposed to be Mia's song in the beginning and it, we moved it to Sebastian and, um, and then it, it became a duet. And we, that was a later idea. Um, so a few words changed, but it basically what you guys came in and, and showed us was, is what's in the movie. And, and it was really helpful t for us because you know, you're taking a stab in the dark to be like, this is the tone that we see the lyric content being. And so when they signed, uh, you know, they, when they got on board with what our vision was for the lyric tone, it also then began to inform every other song that we would then collaborate on. Well, also, you know, I mean, a lot has been said about how this is an homage to uh, early Hollywood musicals, but a lot of those early Hollywood musicals are very silly. Um, you know, I mean, you ever see I Love Melvin? I mean, I love Donald O'Connor, but it's it's just it's got no plot. But but this 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 there's always there's a little bit of melancholy. It's very joyful music, but there's there's a, a tinge of uh, a bittersweet. Uh, and, and was that something you had to work on, or there's something? That, came with the project? I th yeah, I think from the very first conversations with Damien about this movie, it was clear what the story was going to be, how the story was going to end up, um, that it had to be a movie that had melancholy. Um, his, his, his descriptions of even Another Day of Sun, which he described as a fast, joyous song, but it's about people who are frustrated, who aren't doing what they want to be doing. So from the very big first scene of the movie to the to the end, it was clear that there's, you know, there's there's optimism and hope and joy in the movie, but there's also there's a there's kind of a sadness to it as well, and, and to, or a poignancy to sort of, you know, life is complicated and not everything works out like you think it's going to. So those ideas were in the script and something I was trying to put into the music, and then these guys beautifully captured that with the lyrics. And, and that's what I also think why Damien is such a special director is that um, that's, I think that's one of the reasons why the film to me just as a viewer feels contemporary because life is messy and life is complicated and it doesn't work out like it's the movies but to make a movie that sort of is true to the sort of messiness of our, our everyday lives even in the pursuit of something joyous and, and hopeful uh, feels true to me living in 2017 and I, I think Damien did a beautiful job of capturing that. I kind of think you all did a beautiful job. Uh, <laughs> I, seriously, congratulations and, and, and thank you for being here.